Hello there and welcome to another recovery guide by the MXQ project. So a few weeks ago I had done a review on the V88 Android TV box. I didn't particularly like it but it's very cheap so I suspect a lot of people are buying them. Now this guide is going to show you how to totally recover it. So this means is if, I, if your box is totally bricked there's a good chance this guide is going to help you recover it and restore it to normal. Now we're going to need new things, we're going to need your V88, we're going to need a few files as well, I'll leave all the links in the description, as well as that you're going to need your recovery image file. Now there has been an update by these guys, Shizen, who actually produce it for the V88, and I'll leave again the link in the description. Now this guy will also work for the MSQ Pro 4K, so those shipped with the Rockchip 3229 processor, which is in the V88 as well. It's just a different brand of box, so it'll just have MXQ Pro 4K written on the front. Don't confuse that with the Amalogic SI05 MXQ Pro, because that's a different piece of hardware. They just like to rebrand these and release them as different types of boxes, but essentially they're all the same inside, if that makes sense. So this V88, this guy's gonna work for that. The MSQ4 and the MXQ Pro, so the MXQ4 I think it's called, and the MXQ Pro. So if you've got one of those boxes, there's a good chance it'll work for you guys. As well as that, if you know your box has got the Rockchip 3229 processor in it, and it's a similar sort of design to this, then there's a good chance that's just a rebrand as well. So the hardware inside that might be similar to what's in here. So this guy might work for you as well. So let's move on to the first part of the tutorial. Don't forget, you're gonna need your V88, you're going to need your image files and your Android recovery tool, which is by Rockchip. As well as that, you're going to need a mail-to-mail USB cable. That's to actually connect your PC to your TV box. So let's go over to mxqproject.com forward slash files. And in here, we're going to find our all our files that we need. I've just put them all into one place, just so it's convenient for you guys. So you don't have to go all over the internet and try to find these particular files. So mxqproject.com forward slash files. And then head down to where it says Rockchip 3229 Recovery Tools. You'll see three files. They're all .7z files. You just need to download those. And then we can move on to the next part of the tutorial. So once you've grabbed your three files from our hosting, you're gonna to need to unzip them. Now you can use 7-zip to do this. I'll leave a link in the description for you and all you need to do is just you just need to extract all these three files as shown. So once you've got your three files, you should have two folders and a image file. Now what we need to do first is we need to go to driver assist and we need to install these drivers. So click on where I'm showing you, driver install. And your computer will probably ask you for administrator rights. And then you just need to install the drivers. It might take a few minutes to actually do that. But once you've done it, that's it. You're done with that. So you can come out of there. And then we can go to Android tool release. And in here we've got our actual tool. So the Android tool just there. Load that up and then you can go over to upgrade firmware just as shown and we can select firmware and then we're going to select that image file that we've just unzipped so it says update underscore mx4 so select that and then click open and that's pretty much it so just to go over that again guys just so it's absolutely clear what we need to do is go to driver assistant so you need to install those drivers now you might not need to install it if you're running Windows 7 for example but if you're running Windows 8.1 or Windows 10 there's a good chance you're going to need to install those drivers and then go over to Android tool again in the Android tool release select firmware select your update which is the image file we we yeah, unzipped before and that is it let's move on to the next part now where I'm going to show you how to connect your V88 or whatever 3229 box you're using to your PC. So grab your USB mail to mail, so a cable that looks like that. Plug one end into your PC and then we need to grab this one and on the back of your V88 you have a USB 4 port. Now 
before you plug it into your box, grab yourself a toothpick, something thin and sharp, and on the back of your box you've got a little AV port. Pop it into there and you'll feel for a little button. You may be able to hear that actually on the camera. Hold that in and then plug it in your USB into the USB 4 port on the V88. So to go over that again, plug one end of your USB mail to mail into your PC or laptop. Grab yourself something thin and sharp and on the reset button, the AV button on the back, just on there. Put something thin and sharp in, feel for the little reset button. And then hold that in and keep it held in and then apply your USB cable into the V88. Now what should happen on screen is it should change. Now it should display connected device as shown. Now once that's done, we can move on to the next part. So that's it for this video. Hopefully everything's went nice and smoothly for you and it's just installed onto your PC and then it's connected to your box and everything's worked perfectly. Now, this isn't gonna be the same for everyone, unfortunately. PCs are, uh, are stubborn things and they can be really annoying when it comes to installing drivers and connecting to things like this. And you might come across all sorts of errors I haven't come across myself. So the first error that I would envision happening is connecting it to your laptop. You might just come across that drivers for this device do not exist, even though you've installed those driver assist um, drivers. So again, try and install those drivers again, try and connect the box to your laptop again and see what happens. It's just about persevering, going over it again and again. I know I did come up with an error and say this box cannot connect to your laptop for some reason. I just tried again, you know, the toothpick method where we just showed you how to connect it with the USB cable. Try that again and hopefully it'll just all connect and everything will be fine. Now, if you're watching this way into the future, so it's 2017 at the moment, June, just the middle of June. So if you're watching this a year from now, you guys probably have to go and get another Android image file because the chances are they've probably updated it and released it. And the Android image file that I've provided on the host will be out of date or not. It entirely depends if they release updated firmware for this particular hardware. Now remember, this has been made for the V88, but remember it might also work on Rocktrick 3229 processors in other branded boxes. So it MX4, MXU Pro 4K and other similar devices that I've not seen yet or I'm around but I don't know anything about. So just make sure it's similar hardware. I can't guarantee this will work of course, you know this is entirely at your own risk. Only attempt this entire tutorial if your box is totally dead. In other words, it doesn't do anything at all. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a dislike and we shall see you in the next one.